Hello, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. You want an easy meal in one pot? I'm going to show you one today. This has only five ingredients. You can't get any easier than that. Of course, if you want to add additional things to it, you can certainly do it. But a dear friend of mine, Bonnie Fields, gave me this recipe probably 20 years ago. We love it, and so I'm going to show you how we do it. First of all, you take one pound of ground beef and you brown it. I've already done that because I know you know how to brown ground beef. There was only just a little bit of grease left and I did not drain it. Now, if you have a lot left, you'd want to drain it. But I think it's gonna help season the rest of the thing. So the ground beef is one ingredient. The second ingredient, you're gonna use a head of cabbage. And y'all, I'm using my Y'all brand cutting board. Love this, love the size of it. And if you want to get one, you go to Y'all brand, Y'all sweet tea, and you find it on their site. And when you start to check out, if you'll just type in Sue, S-U-E, you'll get 10% off, but anyway, I'm going to put this cabbage that I have chopped up on top of the ground beef. You know cabbage will cook down, so don't think, oh, that's too much cabbage, because it has water, a lot of water in it and everything, so as you cook it, it's going to cook down to where there's not nearly as much as you um, think it's going to be. See, this board is huge, and it's so handy for different things. Okay, now you're going to take one 10-ounce can of t diced tomatoes with green chilies. This is the mild. You can get... If you want a little bite, you can get the regular, but this is just the uh, Walmart brand. And a lot of times people will call for Rotel in their recipe because that's a brand name of diced tomatoes with green chilies. And then my recipe says a half a can of water. So I just put about what a half a, a can would be. And then the last ingredient is salt. And pepper and I like a lot of pepper I think I tell you that all the time but now all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this back to a good heat where you can hear it kind of simmering down in there and I I'll put the lid on it and I will simmer this <coughs> excuse me I got the pepper in my throat but you're going to simmer it for about 30 minutes or until the cabbage is tender. The meat's done, so you just want your cabbage tender. And after we've done that, I'll be back and I'll show you the finished product. How simple is this one meal, five ingredient dinner? That's You've got your vegetable and your meat in one. I'll be back. Okay. I let this simmer for maybe 45 minutes and it's done. It's the cabbage is tender. And you could either eat this in a bowl with some cornbread or I'm going to just put it up on a, a plate. Look at the steam. Y'all, this is a delicious meal. And it's so simple. So simple. Like I said, you can add whatever you want to this. If you wanted to add onion, my son made this when we were in Louisiana the last time and he had put a can of whole kernel corn in it. But whatever your family likes, you could add. But this recipe is in my volume one and it's called Bonnie's Meal. And remember, this is a complete one pot meal that only has five ingredients. You can't get any easier than that. Now, we as 
Southerners would want cornbread with this, but you could do garlic bread, you could do Ritz crackers, whatever you want. You don't even need anything but bread with this because it has your vegetable already in it. But in case you don't already have my cookbooks, if you do, that's on page 26 of volume one. But if you go to my website, mamasusouthernkitchen.com, it will have the recipe there and you can print it from there. But if you wanted to order it, it'll show you how to order my volume one and my volume two. But I just, I want you to know that it's not hard to cook. Some of you mamas that have children in different activities are not home very long, and this doesn't take long. The, the longest is the to uh, brown your ground beef, and then the rest, you just put it on and let it simmer. I just wanna help you. This is one of my shirts that I love so much because it, back last year when I was so sick from my chemo, and, and you know, I've told you this before, I knew, I had faith that God would heal me, but I didn't know if the way he was gonna heal me is here on earth or by taking me to heaven. So the verse in Daniel 3.18, it's, it's where Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow down to the gods of Nebuchadnezzar. But anyway, they told them, my God will save me from this fire that you're going to put me in. But even if he doesn't, I will still serve him. I think that's pretty good. Remember to be salt and light wherever you go. Let others see Jesus in you. Share my video and I'll be back soon.